Hello, hello everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on this Memorial Day tutorial. I'm so excited to do this video for you guys. I guess we should just go ahead and jump right in. So obviously the first step is um, eye primer. I'm going to use Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion and Anti-Aging as always. Alrighty, the next step I am going to be using a powder foundation today just because I don't feel like putting on liquid. This is Max Studio Fix in the color NC15. That is what that looks like. Just a very pale shade. The brush I'm going to be using is ELF's Ultimate Blending Brush. This is the best foundation brush that I've found for myself. So I'm just going to be putting that all over my face. All right, next step, we are going ahead and put bronzer on. This is the Hula Bronzer from Benefit, and then I am going to be using Tarte's Contour Brush from their Unicorn Collection. Now, for my eyeshadow, which is the main part of this video, I am going to be using 88 Original Palette by Coastal Scents. This is very affordable. The colors are amazing. That's what it looks like. Very, very huge range of colors. And uh, if you can't order this in time for Memorial Day, you can also use NYX's Ultimate Shadow Palette in the color Bright. So you can also use this. this you can get this at Ulta. I'm not sure if you can get it at Walgreens or anything like that, but I do know Ulta has it. You can also use Urban Decay's Electric Palette. Yeah. Really, if you just have a blue and a red, I think it'd be okay. For the majority of this video, I am going to be using Tarte's Blending Brush from the Unicorn Collection. Don't worry, it is just stained. There is not any product on it, okay? So don't be like, oh my gosh. We're just gonna jump right in. Okay, so to start off with, we are going to be taking this bright red shade right here. That is the second from the bottom of the red row. And uh, we're just gonna dab our little brush in there. I'm going to show you the pigmentation. I mean, hello, look at that. Look at that. Coastal Scents is very affordable and they have a huge color selection and a lot of different palettes. So I really do I recommend them. Okay. I actually used Coastal Scents when I first started doing makeup a long time ago. And uh, yeah. So we're just going to take that red, we're going to put it in this area over here. Now it is going to look pink at first just because red spreads out to pink, okay? Okay, okay. So I'm just going to lightly buff that and then I'm going to take it a little down in our corner here. That is what it should look like. The next shade I am going to go in with is this dark blue shade on the very bottom right here. Apply that to the outside corner here. We are going to apply it to the crease to get it a little bit darker. We are going to smooth that out and up. Where the pink, I mean the red and the blue meet, it will look a little bit purple. Um, but don't worry, we're going to fix it, okay? Alrighty, so I'm just making sure that everything blends together because we don't want it not to. We're going to take this silver shade in the very corner here. We're going to apply that to our brow highlight here. And I'm going to be taking Royal and Lane Nichols brow brush. It's just very small. And I'm just going to zip that in there. And then just apply that like so. Okay, the next step I am going to be taking Stila's Magnificent Metals in the color Diamond Dust. I'm going to be taking that and I'm just going to use the little um, applicator that it comes with and basically we are going to 
apply that to the middle and blend it into both sides. This is going to be a little tricky, um, but I'm going to make it as simple as I can. So yeah, let me just zoom you in really quick. So you notice where it's a little bit lighter on the eye. I did not apply as hard. That's how I blended it out. That is to make sure that it is as blended as possible that it could be. Um, glitter can sometimes be a little bit tricky when it comes to blending. If you don't like the Stilla Magnificent Metals, which if you don't, then what? Anyways, um, you can use a pigment of glitter. This is a good example. This is Hard Candies Poppin' Pigments in the color Silver Dollar. This is really pretty, um, very um, silver based, but it does have a lot of iridescent colors in there. I recommend NYX's Glitter Primer. This is a very good glitter primer. It keeps the glue in place. But be careful when you do apply the glitter, it will stick. There really is no manipulating it. Um, unless you act super quick, so just be careful with that. So next step, we are going to take Wet n Wild, I believe this is a eyeliner brush. It's a very, very convenient little brush here. We are gonna go back in with the red color. We are gonna apply that to our bottom lashes. Okay, do the exact same thing with that dark blue color that we used on the outside. Now it is time for eyeliner. I am going to be using Maybelline New York's Line Stiletto in the color Very Black. We are just going to make a little cat eye. I'm going to be using CoverGirl's Lash Blast. Okay, I'm just going to be using the same mascara for the lower lashes. I'm going to put white liner on my bottom lash line. I'm going to be using NYX's Retractable Eyeliner in the color White. Y'all, I'm so sorry if my camera keeps going in and out. I really don't know what its problem is. Next step is going to be um, blush. I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution's New Rules. This kind of looks like this and the brush I'm using is a wet n wild blush brush and I'm just going to lightly put that on because it is rare pigmented okay like ah! actually that is a little bit too pigmented so a little better a little better a little bit that own Next step is highlighter. I'm gonna be using Jeffree Star's Skin Frost in the color Ice Cold, which looks like that. For my brush, I'm gonna be using Elf's Highlighting Brush. Next little step, we are gonna take a little bit of Kat Von D's Alchemist Holographic Palette, which looks like that, and we're going to go in with the shade blue sapphire to give us a little bit of a blue highlight and we're going to be using the same little crease, br crease brush that we used a minute ago just because it's convenient we're just going to apply that blue color just right here kind of where my temple is kind of give it a little bit of a blue effect okay and then a little bit on the end of our nose and then on the cupid's bow been living for the cupid's bow highlight like okay so i am going to take a tad bit more blush because i look kind of washed out <laughs> easy to zoom with my complexion i'm going to take a little bit of the stila eyeshadow that we use i'm going to put a little bit on the bottom in the middle y'all eyelashes are literally the most frustrating part of any type of makeup routine because 
I just want to throw them across the room every time I try to do them. So, for my glue, I'm going to be using Duo's. It's the green kind. It's just brush on adhesive with vitamins. And then for my eyelashes, I'm going to be using Demi Wispies by Ardell. Well, any eyelashes can be a tad bit tricky, honestly, because these other YouTubers make them look so easy. And I'm... I, my look, I can get it all on the first time. But... So, if you are struggling with fake eyelashes, please don't be discouraged because they are very difficult. Okay. The Duo Glue on really quick and show you what another YouTuber showed me. Her name is Jacqueline Hill. This is what she recommends to do. I will link her video down below. But you do not put like, okay, you do not put a lot of lash glue on there. Um, I'm just going to try to show you. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not. Like it's very, very little and you want to wait until it's tacky. Like you don't want to put it on immediately because if you do, it's going to slide everywhere. Um, so basically you can do it with tweezers or you can do it with your fingers. I prefer my fingers because the tweezers sometimes get in the glue and then they stick and then they rip them all off on accident. So yeah. So we're just going to wait for this to dry really fast. <laughs> Another tip that she says in her video is you need to look down while you're applying them because that's just a lot easier. If you look up and try to do it, your eyelashes are going to get in the way. So if you look down, it's a lot easier. So I am just going to, it looks like that one is pretty much on. It's not even, but you know, it's whatever. We don't care. We are going to go ahead and do the other one. I feel like with any look, fake eyelashes make it look even better. Just because it gives a little bit more of a pop. Oh yeah, like these aren't even in a line. Well, I hope that looks okay. It looks like it. Like literally, this is the struggle. I mean, it's all C's okay. So if you're in that boat where you just don't know what the heck to do about lashes, like, see, I've messed this one up. So I put it too low and it wouldn't move, so I had to rip it up. But yeah, falsies definitely add that extra pop for this look just because there is so much going on on the eyes. These lashes hate me. I've been working on these for seven minutes now. Sometimes when it's halfway on there, you just gotta put glue on there and uh, let it kind of get tacky and then, you know, you're eyelash that's hot, hanging off. You just got to put it on there. You just got to do what you got to do. Okay. Finally, their own. Urban Decay Setting Spray. Mm. Girl. Smells like enchiladas. Mmm. Let me just do one little spritz. Alrighty guys, that is all for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this Memorial Day eyeshadow look. And uh, just remember that you can tone down this look if you would like, or you can intensify it if you would like. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you check out Coastal Scents because their eyeshadow palettes are really worth the money and I love them so much and they come in so many different colors and finishes. Yeah, so remember what Memorial Day is all about. And uh, I hope you have a blessed and safe Memorial Day. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you do attempt this look, please let me know down below what you came up with. I'd love to see it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I love you guys so much.